question I always get asked is, do I have to lift heavy to grow? And the answer is yes, you need to lift heavy in order to stimulate muscle growth. You have to force your body into gaining muscle. Now to do this, you have to stimulate it by lifting heavy weights that it's not used to lifting. If you go in the gym and you bench press 135 pounds every time you go into the gym, you're not going to grow. So if you start off bench pressing 135 pounds, next week try for 145. Next week try for 155. You want to progressively lift heavier weights in order to stimulate muscle growth. Hey, what's up? It's Friday week three. You made it to the end of the week. You got one more hard workout left. Now you may be thinking, this is a 12 week program. I got 12 weeks of workout make gains, plenty of time, but really think about it. After this Friday workout, you only have nine more Friday workouts to do. So you really want to push yourself as hard as you can in each and every workout. Every workout counts for growth. You can't just slack off at the beginning and think you can make it up at the end and grow. It doesn't work like that. So get to the gym, do your five to 10 minutes of warm up cardio, and then we're gonna hit everything 100%. I'll see you there. All right, we made it to the gym, and it's time for your final lower body workout of the week. It's Friday, so you have all weekend to recover, so there's no reason to hold back during this workout. Today's week three, so we're doing four sets of six to eight reps to failure. If you haven't already done your five to 10 minutes of warm up cardio, go do so now, and then we'll get started. The first exercise of today's workout is the deadlift. The deadlift is a total body exercise. Begin with two warm up sets, 10 to 15 reps. After you warm up, you can begin to add weight for your four heavy sets of six to eight reps. Remember, your warm up sets should not fatigue you to the point where your performance suffers. The purpose of warm up sets are to lubricate your joints and prepare your body to lift heavier weights. Performing the deadlift is very complex, so be sure to watch Rob's demonstration of how to correctly do the deadlift. The main thing you want to concentrate on is not rounding your back. Rounding your back can put your spine in a dangerous position. After you perform your four sets of six to eight reps, be sure you put back all the weights you used and log your performance in your workout journal. The second exercise of today's workout is the hack squat. Start by performing two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. After you perform your warm-up sets, you can increase the weight for your four sets of six to eight reps. You should choose a weight that will allow you to complete at least six reps, but no more than eight reps. As you squat down, make sure you control the weight down and don't just drop down. Dropping down quickly can lead to injury, as well as making the exercise less effective. Once you complete all four sets of six to eight reps, take up all the weights, put them back in the weight rack, and log your performance in your workout journal. The third exercise in today's lower body workout is the lion leg curl for the hamstrings. Start off with your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Once you complete your warm-up sets, you can add some weight for your working sets of six to eight reps to failure. After you increase the weight, be sure that you keep your form perfect. Don't lose track of what's important. Using proper form is more important than increasing the weight you lift. Once you complete all four sets of six to eight reps, log your performance in your workout journal. The fourth exercise in today's workout is a seated calf raise. Begin with your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. After you do your warm-up sets, you can move into your four heavy sets of six to eight reps. Pay close attention to starting with your calves in the fully stretched position. Doing this will give you the greatest benefit from this exercise. Once you complete all four sets of six to eight reps, put back all the weights to use, as well as log your performance in your workout journal. The fifth exercise of today's workout is the standing calf raise. Perform two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. Once you're warmed up, you can add weight for your working sets of six to eight reps of failure. Focus on not bouncing the weight and using a full range of motion during each and every rep. Once you complete all four sets of six to eight reps, log your performance in your workout journal. The next exercise is the lying leg raise. Start with your upper body in the bench and your legs hanging off the bench. This is your third time doing the lying leg raise. You may need to hold the dumbbell between your feet to make the exercise challenging enough. If you find you can easily perform 12 reps, put a five pound dumbbell between your feet. Once you put the dumbbell between your feet, perform your three sets of eight to 12 reps. After completing all three sets of eight to 12 reps, put any dumbbell you use back in the dumbbell rack and record your performance for this workout. The final exercise of today's workout is the side bend for the obliques. The obliques are the muscles on the sides of your stomach. The side bend is performed on the back extension bench. Be sure to adjust the bench at the beginning of the exercise so you can fully extend and flex the obliques. Your goal is to complete three sets of eight to 12 reps. Be sure to log the number of reps you completed in your workout journal.
All right, you reached the end of today's lower body workout. This is the end of week three. You worked really hard this week, so make sure you get all of your meals in and get enough recovery time to take advantage of all the hard work you put in. Finish up your workout with your post-workout stretching and then meet me back in my office. I'll see you there. You made it through the final workout of week three. Over these past three weeks, you've put in a lot of hard work and you might be starting to see some progress now. But if you're not, don't get discouraged. What I want you to do this weekend is go home and take your updated progress pictures. It's gonna be really hard to notice some progress unless you're looking at a side-by-side -side comparison of your starting pictures and your current pictures. All you have this weekend is your 30 minutes of cardio tomorrow. And other than that, you just wanna focus on getting all of your meals in, resting, and coming ready to work really hard on week four. The workouts are gonna be more intense, so you better be ready. See you next week.